Hello friends, welcome once more to That's English. Today's documentary is about a dream, the literary dream of Richard Booth. El sueño literario de Richard Booth consistió en convertir el pueblo de Hay on Wye en una librería. Before watching the documentary, we'd like to explain the meaning of some new words you'll hear in it. Fictional character, que significa personaje de ficción, o sea, de obra literaria. Fictional character. Second hand, it means de segunda mano, second hand. Ah, Hungarian, que significa húngaro, Hungarian. Come true means cumplirse o hacerse realidad, come true. And we've got a task for you. You've got to find out if the following statements are true or false according to what Richard Booth says in the documentary. Son ciertas o falsas las siguientes afirmaciones según lo que Richard Booth dice en el documental. The first one. In Hay and Why there are only English books. True or false? His largest buyers are in North America. True or false? And the third one. His dream for the future is a South American bookshop. True or false? Vamos a comprobarlo viendo el documental. Close your eyes and imagine a beautiful place full of fictional characters from literature. Dream of a town where books are the main inhabitants. A beautiful dream, isn't it? Such a place is not only a dream. It exists in real life. Its name is Hay on Wai, and it's a little village on the border between Wales and England. Hay on Wai is the world capital of second-hand books. The old butchers, the old cinema, and even the old fire station are now bookshops. In Hay on Wai, there are books everywhere, and it is all thanks to a man's dream. This is Richard Booth. When he finished his degree in history at Oxford University, he left for Hay on Wye in search of a different lifestyle. He dreamt of a town full of books, and his dream became true. Well, I was educated at Oxford, uh, and like most people educated at Oxford, my only hope of employment appeared in a large town, but unless I was, of course, a doctor or a lawyer, and I didn't want to be a doctor or a lawyer. So I came to Hay, and I discovered the only way of making a living was to fill the whole town with books, so we became a centre for all these second-hand things. I think people in rural areas like the second-hand, and for me, I think there should be many towns full of second-hand books. Hay on Wye is a collector's paradise. It's probably the place with the most bookshops in one street in the world. Every day, and especially at the weekend, the streets of Hay on Wye fill with literature lovers or simple visitors looking for new books for their collections. A visitor could spend hours browsing around the many bookshelves But, what kind of books can you find in Hay on Why? Well, we have to have enough books to make it worth your while coming here. So we try and sell books that you cannot find in London or Madrid or Tokyo. For example, I'm just starting a Hungarian bookshop with 5,000 Hungarian books. I will have a Spanish bookshop here. It is the first time... This business has been international, and I think we must sell books. We sell many, many books on English language, English literature, but also sell books that we cannot find anywhere else, perhaps even in Europe.
Richard Booth is a true king in the country of books. In 1977, he bought the old castle and turned it into a big bookshop. Eventually, Richard Booth has created other second-hand book towns in other parts of Europe and in the United States. But he's never stopped dreaming. That's why we asked him, what's your dream for the future? Well, for all my life, I found the most exciting place in the world uh, was South America. Nearly all of my life, because it's, you know, natural business, I have worked in North America. We are the largest book buyers, I think, in Philadelphia or Detroit or many American cities. But now I feel that I would love to go to South America. It seems a very exciting and romantic place for people who are always in the Anglo-Saxon world. So my big dream for the future is a South American bookshop in Hai A nice dream turning a village into a bookshop, mm. don't you think, Sarah? Yes, Gary, a very nice dream indeed. But what about the first statement? In Hei on Wai, there are only English books. Was it true or false? Let's see. For example, I'm just starting a Hungarian bookshop with 5,000 Hungarian books. I will have a Spanish bookshop here. So it was false. There are also Hungarian books. The second statement was, his largest buyers are in North America. Was that true or false? We are the largest book buyers, I think, in Philadelphia or Detroit or many American cities. So, it was false. And finally, his dream for the future is a South American bookshop. Was it true or false? So my big dream for the future is a South American bookshop in Hayon Wai. So that was true. And now our next section. Play it again. Today, instead of a sketch, Gary is going to tell us a story, Alice in Wonderland. Como esta unidad trata de sueños, se nos ha ocurrido resumir el sueño más conocido de la literatura anglosajona, Alicia en el País de las Maravillas. Now, let's watch it in our Play It Again. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Suddenly, she saw a white rabbit run into a hole in a tree. Alice followed him into the hole and she fell down, down, down a very deep well When she got to the bottom of the well, the white rabbit disappeared and Alice found herself in a hall with many doors. She found a little golden key and with it she opened a very little door. She also found a bottle with a label with the words, Drink me. Alice drank the liquid in the bottle and something very strange happened. Her body became bigger and smaller, like a telescope. Later on, Alice met some very strange characters. The caterpillar, the duchess with the baby that turned into a pig, and the Cheshire cat, a cat with a big smile on his face that appeared and disappeared as he liked. After that, Alice took part in a mad tea party with the March Hare and the Mad Hatter. Finally, 
she got to the palace of the Queen of Hearts, where she played a strange game of croquet. The adventure came to its end when Alice woke up and found it had all been a beautiful dream. Did you notice there were lots of verb forms in the past tense in the story? And many of them are irregular forms. Los verbos irregulares, como ya sabéis, tienen una forma diferente para el pasado. Let's have a look at the irregular verbs in the story. Become, became. Convertirse. Come, came. Venir. Drink, drank. Beber. Fall, fell. Caer. Find, found. Encontrar. Get, got. Obtener. Meet, met. Encontrar o conocer a alguien. See, saw. Ver. Take, took. Tomar. Wake up, woke up. Despertarse. Now we're going to watch again part of the story with many irregular forms in the past. Aparecerá un cartel con el verbo en infinitivo. Vuestro trabajo consistirá en ponerlo en pasado. She also found a bottle with a label with the words Drink me. Alice drank the liquid in the bottle and something very strange happened. Her body became bigger and smaller. After that, Alice took part in a mad tea party. And as usual, let's sum up what we've learned in Unit 4, Module 5. In this unit, we've spoken about dreams and nightmares. We've learned to narrate events. And we've learned to use adverbs of manner. And that's all we've learned in this unit. Don't forget to watch the next program of That's English. Bye. Bye.